Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing guys? Hope everything's going well with you. It's time again for another pocket dump deconstruction. It is Thursday, February 2nd, 2017. We're continuing. I give you the date because we do this every single day. Every day we do a pocket dump deconstruction with at least four knives. Now listen, this morning, this is the second video I cut this morning. Um, I cut the video showing this knife, my first reactions to the brand new 2017 Spydeco Delica 4 with the Warren Cliff blade. And so go check that out. I not only talk about the Warren Cliff blade, but you know me, I pulled out my entire Delica collection as well. <laughs> bunch of knives including the trainer and all of that uh, so there's a lot of eye candy um, I'll talk a little bit about this knife anyway but go give some love to that video give it some likes and and that kind of thing as well uh, it's also you know I put it in the uh, Spydeco folder the Spider Palooza folder all of the folders too I mean the uh, playlist so go have a ball at that okay I am stuck in a lot of meetings this week, and I have an earlier one, so I'll try to make this quick, but you guys know my quick is everyone else's long, so let's talk about the pocket dump deconstruction. I took a bunch of pictures. I'll try to post them on Instagram, and by the way, uh, oh, at around noonish. by the way, go join my Instagram now. It's at Keith Kevin Ken, just like this YouTube channel. It has a photo of all my uh, Delica collection, my Spydeco Delica collection with the new Warren Cliff Delica on top. Um, so go check that out. Show it some love. Now let's talk about the pocket dump deconstruction. We're going to start. <laughs> yes, I have a black, a uh, gray faced um, Spydeco, a uh, Spydeco. Ah, I've been talking about Spydecos all this morning. Rolex that I always tell you guys, it's a Rolex Precision that I always wear on Mondays. It, it's like, you know, it energizes me ready to join the rat race. This too is the same uh, watch except in gold. Um, the difference is, and I tell this story all the time, and I'm sorry you guys hear me repeat things, and that's because knock wood and thank goodness and thank YouTube, uh, there are new people coming all the time and thank you guys. But uh, I love this. It's thin. It's a manual watch. I, you know, those two Rolexes are the only manual watches that I have. I like that they're thin. I like that they're no muss and they fit me perfect. It's just classic. Um, this one doesn't have uh, the band. I know sometimes people go, <laughs> sometimes people even stop me. I'm in a bar and they go, is that a Rolex or a fake Rolex? I, I noticed the band. I'm like, yeah. Uh, my kids, years ago when they were younger, snuck this watch out with all of its <laughs> Rolex stuff on it. Uh, it was either, I keep saying, it's either Father's Day or birthday. I want to say Father's Day with my ex-wife to surprise me with a new band. And they did. Of course, I lost all of the original Rolex stuff to it, but I don't change it. My kids love they laugh and giggle and smile when they see it because they know the story. Um, uh, so that is my Rolex. And yeah, same band that I had then. Um, oh, I'm in a rush, but I'll tell you, in between meetings and talking and working, man, to sniff. Uh, uh, keeps me going, my Cuban cigar. The Cuban Cigar today is the Monte Cristo. It's part of that open series of Monte Cristo. This is the Regatta. Oh, it's just a nice thing. Talking about smelling, I can smell the weekend from here. It's Thursday. Got over the hump after several meetings. <laughs> so, And then to come home and have a new knife always makes me happy. This is a shown design pin. And um, as you guys know, I love my shown design pins. They're just nice cylinder of titanium. This one has a DLC coating on it. 
a black DLC coating. You guys are familiar with that in the knife world, also in the watch world. Uh, just a real nice pin. Today, it's one of my Fin Mont Blanc wallets. I love thin wallets. You know, I, I keep thinking about giving up the wallet and, and just, uh, <laughs> but you know what? A thin wallet does just the same. It's just nothing. That and a notepad and everything else just feels nothing. People always say, how can you carry all this? Now, again, remember, everyone is different. <laughs> People who love knives can be liberals. Conservatives can love, you know, other things. You know, it's just, it's a mix. Um, and in this case, you know, I'm an office guy. And so I always have a dress shirt on and usually a jacket, not a tie because <laughs> I'm relaxed. No. Um, so there's a lot of pockets. Um, let's see what else we got here. Oh, yeah, we're going to do some gin. I never talk about gin. This is just good, regular gin. Um, <laughs> I usually don't do gin straight. Uh, I usually always do it with some tonic. I love gin. Uh, again, I do not smoke a cigar during work. Yeah, I'm like everybody else. Our workplace, you can go into the garage and smoke in a little huddle in a corner in the winter. <laughs> I don't do that. I like to save it for after so I can think about me. How about that? During the length of the smoke. And then when that's done, I got to think about bills and other people just like all of you guys. But it gives me time to just focus on me. You guys need that. I keep saying it and I say it because I know I've wasted 50 years of not doing that. Would have been a better father, better husband, better everything. Probably not better in my career, but as you get older, you do realize those other betters way outweigh better in career, okay? Um, so anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> It's not preaching, by the way. It's just what it is. And uh, while I love showing off the knives, it's stupid, stupid for someone to have people watching them doing the knives and going, huh, huh, want, 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 and not talk about something just a little bit more important that you guys should want. Because I'm you guys, right? I am you guys. Uh, the word... As I told you, that's like the field notes, my field notes that you can find. Uh, one day I need to do all of those things that help me buy knives, like, you know, Amazon affiliates and all of that. I don't right now, uh, but I need to do that so I could go, hey, click here. I don't even know how to do the click things yet in YouTube. I'll take some time and do that at some point. <laughs> the... Uh, the coin today is a 2016, uh, that's not going to work. Let's see, here we go. 2016 year of the monkey coin. Uh, this is the Australian Series 2 collection of um, Lunar Year coins. I have the Series 1. Um, it's, it's, it's in this holders that I can't, I don't put them in my pocket. But Series 2 is going on right now. Um, that's a one-ounce coin from 2016. Someone, I don't know, I probably mentioned it before. Someone left a comment uh, asking me where that they collect silver. Where do I usually buy it? And I do, I think I said this before. Uh, Amex is, uh, Appmex, I'm sorry, Appmex online is where I get most of my silver. And I used to get a lot of silver and gold there. I sold back to them a lot of silver and gold. When the prices went through the ceiling, that's where I sold it back. Also, I get them from the U.S. Mint. I'm a big mint person, um, so there you go. Uh, let's talk about uh, the knives. It's the Rody. The Rody is my keychain knife today. You guys know I love the Rody. FRN scales, fiberglass reinforced nylon, which is just super, super plastic. Uh, this is smooth, no clip, so you can use it lefty, righty. It is a non-locking knife. And so 
Um, you can obviously do it either way because instead of a nail nick, what Spydeco did was give you some, give you those indentations right there to help you pinch and lift. Has a wonderful ba um, uh, a half lock at 90 degrees. Man, my words are leaving me. That's what happens when you do two back-to-back -back videos. Um, which is great. I love the stop, the half stop. Uh, it has some jimping here. It's a, it's a smaller light knife. It's only one ounces. I mean, it literally weighs as much as that coin. 2.1 inch blade. It's in 690 steel. Good steel. This is the gray one. It comes in five different colors. Gray, black, red, orange, blue. Someone mentioned to me that they really like red knives and they're, they're surprised that Spydeco doesn't do as many red knives. You're right. I'm sure people have research on that. I like a snap of color. In fact, the knife that got away because at first I was considering I've been using so many Chris Reeve knives lately in my carry. I was like thinking about a non-Chris Reeve carry. So I was playing with one of my favorite knives, which happens to be red. One of the few red ones. It's not a Spydeco though. And then decided, screw it. I've got meetings. I'm trying to get through this week. I'm going with a Chris Reeve knife. But that's the Spydeco roadie. Ah, here's my new baby. Had it less than 24 hours. Again, I just posted a video. Don't forget to thumb this up if you like it. Share it. And subscribe. We're on our way to 200, 200, 2,000 subscribers. Once we do that, I'll give away two Spydecos either here or on my Instagram. So go over to the Instagram and and uh, become a part of that. It's either one, whichever is easiest with the fewest rules. <laughs> That's what I'll do. Instagram is kind of built for knife people and and to sell and and trade knives. So. Uh, probably will be that but you'll hear it on the pocket dump deconstruction which we do every day this is the new one uh, I have a video on this first impressions it's up hit that notification bell I've been doing it with all of my you know it is a pain sometimes I literally have probably 800 <laughs> different channels and before they used to just post all my channels. Now they do, you know, if I'm watching more than two videos, all of a sudden in my feed, I've got every video of that type and I, you know, whatever, whatever. I get it. Hey, I'm sorry, you guys, another helicopter. They like wait and go, psh, psh, Kevin's doing a pocket dump deconstruction. Anyway, um, if you guys can even hear it. Uh, anyway. What was I saying? Um, well, let's talk about this. I lost my train of thought because I hear another plane coming. I don't know what's going on. This is the new Spydeco Warrenclip blade. Um, oh, I was talking about notifications. Just do it because you'll you'll for, you know you'll forget. And while I do the daily pocket dump deconstruction, so you guys know to check in daily. I will do some special videos as well, uh, like I did this morning with this. This is the newest Spydeco knife that has just been released. It is the Spydeco Warncliffe. You know, Spydeco really listens uh, to their customers. A lot of knife people do, but they really do because they have their own forum on their website. And, you know, collectors like me, I love checking in on it. I'm not a regular anything, but I love checking in. And Sal Glasser, the founder of Spydeco, is on there all the time, which is really great. And so he'll respond, short response, but he'll give you the responses from the man. And I really love that. Well, they, they were getting people saying, hey, love the Delica at work, especially with this FRN scales that are, you know, just really indestructible. It's light. You know, the Delica is one of their best sellers, have been for a long time. This is the Delica 4. Um, but someone said who worked in a warehouse, um, but man, a Warren Cliff would just help me so much in the cutting. And so here's the Warren Cliff. Spydeco Warren Cliff. Someone asked me, um, 
in the comments is you guys know I try to bring up the comments in these videos. Um, I read your comments as soon as you post them or as close to it. So all of them are read. Um, getting back to you is just difficult for me. I'm, it's easier on Instagram for me to do it because it's quick and whatever. So I apologize for that. Um, but uh, they were they asked me what the numbers are sometimes on my knives. Let's see if we can get this close. Here we go. That's what I should have done. I should have moved over the focus. Uh, it's not going to work. But you guys know. You saw pictures or sometimes I'll hold up something. This one has 002 on it. Um, I have some friends that are part of the Spydeco Collectors Program. They pay, I don't know how they pay, up front. But they pay up front uh, to dealers and depending, you can get every single knife that Spydeco has. And so this is the second person in line. He gets it the second. Uh, the second person to receive this. I have a lot of 003s. Um, uh, so they pay in advance. All the knives are shipped to them first in order of their number. And then to all of us. Sometimes they want to let those go. And so I've been lucky enough to catch a couple of them. And that's why I have this very early. I, you know, people say, well, why aren't you part of it? You buy all their stuff. Yeah, but you know, I like control. You never know. I get frustrated. You never know when Spydeco is releasing something and then there's your funds. You know, I like to kind of control that. Sometimes I think about doing it, but I don't. You can also, I've, I've read that you can also do, you know, I don't want the fixed knives or... I only want the original, not all the variations. Or you can say, I want all the variations. So for instance, they would have, he, this person would have gotten the pair of three second earlier than everyone else. I didn't see him, you know, selling that. And if he said, I just want the original, that's fine. If he says he wants all of the variations from Spydeco, he'll get every variation coming as well with that 002 on it. It's a neat program. This is great. Okay, it has a warrant clip. That is the difference. VG10 steel, like most of them, um, 2.9 inches, just under that 3 inch. It's a real nice knife. Go check out my first impressions. It's not only just the first impressions. I also show off the entire collection. The big knife for today is Chris Reeve um, Carbon Fiber Inlay. It's a Blade HQ exclusive. It's the large Sabenza 21 with that S35VN steel blade. And of course, it's on the shiny titanium with these inlays. This is different titanium than, or polished titanium than what I showed you yesterday with the etchings in it. The Damascus etchings. It's not Damascus, but it shows in the etchings. Those just get really gummed up quick. These don't. And again, on this one, as opposed to the other one, it's one of the regular, you know, most of the Chris Reeve wooden inlays and carbon fiber inlays are on polish, two in the front, one in the back, polished with the lock and the uh, clip left alone. This is the Chris Reeve Large Sabenza 21 Blade HQ exclusive, it's carbon fiber inlay. I love this knife. 3.6 inch S35 VN steel blade. That's it. Don't forget on Instagram, I'll have the picture when it's all nice and pretty and stuff. Become a part of the Instagram. Uh, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button. But of course, I can't run away to another meeting without talking about the knife that got away. There's my red one, reddish. Um, I just love this knife. You guys know I'm not a big knife guy, even though I always carry a bigger knife. I prefer it a little smaller. Man, this Skinner is just, ugh. it's the hinderer. Ah, shucks. Did you guys hear that? That's me hitting my tripod while I flipped it. Ah. I always, I have to reach around the tripod. Uh, this is the Hinderer XM18 Skinner. 
S35 VN steel, that thick blade, ah, that that grippy, nice grip, uh, not too grippy. Um, red G10, of course the hinderer that I love the pivot, that simple pivot. With the standoffs, nice see-through construction, easy to clean. Of course, the titanium back. The thing about Hinderer, while some people say, don't change everything, I mean, they sell everything. The, the clip plates, the clips, screws, the standoffs. You can, you can customize a Hinderer and still have all original Hinderer stuff. And I know if you watch any of the uh, videos, especially the older ones, everyone talking about the Hinderer, um, flipper, they've solved that <laughs> on the new ones. That was me. That they, they flip like a dream, even a big fat blade like this. I've said this before, and someone said, Yeah, it took them X amount of years to get there. And they're right. <laughs> Especially when Hinderer didn't have the extensive distribution network that they have now to sell to regular folks like us. You know, um, they used to go for a thousand and something on the secondary market because that's the only way you could get them. Now you get them at around Chris Reeve prices, but very nice knife. That's the Skinner. Hinderer XM18 Skinner with the red. Oh, S35VN steel. I flipped this thing all day, but decided to go with the Chris Reeve instead. I'm going to put this in one of the leather sheaths, and this will be clipped to me. Hey, you guys, that's it. Thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate you guys. You have a perfect day. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.